Burbank and beyond. Dot com. I'm Robert Vincent. I'm here with former mayor and councilman Gary Brick. Gary, your term's almost up. There's been a lot of speculation around town whether or not you're going to run again. What's your answer and why? Well, I did pull my papers today. Uh, you know, it's a tough decision. Uh, there's a lot of time, uh, effort that goes into that. Uh, the last three and a half years have been the most rewarding for me but I feel that there is a need for me to run it for another four years. We have a lot of things that are coming before us, and but these are decisions I couldn't make on my own. I had to discuss them with my wife, and because uh, it it's a great impact on her life too, and then owning a small business and everything like that, the time it does take me away, but uh, it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done. I appreciate the opportunity to serve the residents of Burbank, and I'm hoping they'll give me four more years. Well, I believe they do, and I really appreciate your service. And the last four years, what do you feel you've accomplished the most? And well, we, we've, we've accomplished a lot in the city, but I think what's important is we, what we have ahead of us. Uh, you know, we're looking at uh, a budget that's coming up that uh, there's so many cities that are just uh, they're basically going under. And, and we're, we're very conservative in everything we do in the city, and we've been very fortunate. We should be okay next year. But when you're looking at $4 million in PERS, additional uh, costs coming to us, I mean, there's going to be some cuts that aren't going to be popular, things that we're going to have to do. Hopefully there won't be any layoffs, furloughs or anything like that, but you can't rule anything out. So I think that's very important. We have an airport that uh, the airport, uh, they tried to do a 161 study. The uh, FAA turned it down. So we are working to trying to get a legislative approach to get nighttime noise relief for the residents of Burbank and the surrounding areas, which also impacts LA too. So uh, those are two major things. And obviously we're going through some changes in our police department. Uh, I think we're making some steps in the right direction. And uh, a lot of this came down when I was mayor a year ago. And I think it's important that I'd like to stick around and, and see that our police department is up and going and it's just a matter of time. And we've got a great police department, no question about it. I've been here for 58 years uh, and everything's gonna be fine, but I, I'd like to see that through also. What do you feel in the future for the next four years? What are your highlights? What do you want to make happen? Well, we have a few projects going currently. Obviously, the last four years, especially the last couple of years with the economy, you haven't seen a lot of development in Burbank, uh, but that's true everywhere. Uh, you'll see times changing where things will be coming back, no question about it. Uh, we've gone through an economic, uh, very difficult time. A lot of business left Burbank, but as you all know, we've brought a lot of businesses into Burbank. So uh, that's important, and along with our economic development team, headed by our city manager, Mike Flad and a lot of his folks, we'll work very hard to bring a lot of business back into Burbank. And then currently, you know, we have this uh, regional intermobil transit center down at the airport that the airport's going to be building. So we're looking forward to having that in for our transit center. And then years down the road, we, we've talked about the high-speed rail. We don't know for sure if that's going to go through there or possibly an orange line or something like that. So there's a lot of things out on the horizon right now that, uh, you know, it's a little early to speculate on, but uh, some of the things that will be facing us in the next four years. But I think the budget's the big thing. You know, we project five years out and we're looking at $10, $11 million in the red in, in four or five years or something like that. So these are issues that have to be addressed today, not tomorrow. You know, we can't live paycheck to paycheck. Right. Uh, we have to start putting the money away for tomorrow, and I've, I've tried to emphasize those things in the last couple budgets that we passed, and uh, I think we're going to be okay, but uh, we're still upon very difficult times, and uh, but uh, Burbank's in very good hands. Well, Councilman, I appreciate your years of service. It's your wife's patience, and uh, I know the city of Burbank is going to vote you back in. Well, I'm hoping so. I'm sure we're going to have some viable candidates currently when I pulled my papers today. Uh, two other candidates have uh, pulled their papers. Uh, so currently there'll be three of us, it looks like, and there could be more. We have until uh, Monday the 29th to turn everything back in. So there might be other people coming out. Uh, I understand that our mayor, current mayor won't be running again. So that opens up at least one position. And uh, so I'm hoping that the residents will support me for four more years. And then obviously we'll have at least one new council member. And uh, I think it's important that uh, you know, we've got excellent diversity on the council right now, and I and I appreciate that. You don't want five people the same way, so uh, uh, that that's our jobs. So uh, I'm happy with uh, what's happened the last four years, and I'm looking forward to serving the people for another four years. Thank you very much, Gary. Thank you, sir.